Hi everyone, what's up? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I am super excited today because I just received my new iPhone 8 Plus in the mail this morning. So I said, why not do an unboxing? Because I put it up on Snapchat and I put it up on Twitter and everyone's like, please unbox it. I want to know your thoughts on it, like your initial thoughts, obviously, because I won't kind of know too much about this phone from only opening it. So what I will do is I'll go through all the details of this phone and then I'm going to do maybe an updated video in a couple of weeks uh, saying how I'm getting on with the phone. Do I recommend it? I know a lot of you were kind of wondering why I went with the iPhone 8 and not the 10. I will explain that in a moment and kind of get into a bit of details about this. So, ha. <laughs> Let's open this bad boy. Let's get into it and see what's going on. It has a really easy open tab. Oh my god. I'm super excited. Go away plastic. So this is what the outside box looks like. The box is stunning. You can see the phone on it there. Everything that is iPhone is like kind of like a goldy shade because I ended up getting the gold obviously. So let's open her up. Here's the moment of truth. I hate that when you open the lid and you're like, oh, there's the information pack. Let's just get rid of you there. So this is what the new phone looks like. The, oh God. <laughs> Oh my, let's hold on to that there. So this is the iPhone 8 Plus and I just want to show you my old phone. So this is the iPhone 6S Plus and I got this two years ago. It's been well loved. I got that in rose gold at the time. Uh, it just looks pink to me. It's well and truly loved. This phone has now been given to my sister. She's delighted. She's taken it off my hands. I can use my brand new iPhone 8 Plus. I went with the Plus because... I wasn't going from the 6S Plus down to like a normal 8. It's just too small of a screen, especially with YouTube and how much I reply to comments and how much I'm on social media. I needed the big screen, so I stuck with it. I'm gonna speak about the phone in one moment while I boot it up and put my new SIM in it and everything and I'll talk about the rest of the content. You get your three pin plug. <laughs> I know the last time I did like my iPhone 6S Plus unboxing, everyone was like, oh my God, those three pin plugs are so gross. Obviously a lot of you are from America and you've never seen something like this, but in the UK and Ireland, we have three pin plugs. I'm sorry, they're ugly and offensive. But that's just the way of the beast. With the iPhone 7 and 8, there is a headphone jack. This is quite important. There are now wireless headphones. Well, these are not wireless. You need the headphone jack in order to be able to plug your headphones in because it doesn't have a separate one like the 6 does. It has the jack right there. I don't know why they did that, but it's irritated a lot of people. It probably won't bother me because I'll just buy wireless headphones. And then you get your charging cable, the usual one. And I'm so happy to have a new one of them because I've literally broke the 17th or 18th one like this year. I'm just sick of buying them. I only purchased the Apple char charging cables. The fake ones wreck the charge of your battery. They destroy the battery. So that's why I only use the Apple ones. So both phones are exactly the same size. I'm holding this one upside down. They're both the same size. They both have 5.5 inch screens. That's the back of both of them. So this one is obviously the rose gold. And then this is the new gold one, which kind of has like a clear back, like more of like a cream color and then like this gorgeous rose gold but I would describe as rose gold along the side because it is definitely more of a rose gold this is a uh, pink I know you guys are dying to see the plastic just been pulled off let's do it let's 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 do it oh my god dun, 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 dun. and there the front yeah so that's what she looks like such a gorgeous color oh my god i'm so happy i went with this color fingerprints all over it already i have a cover don't you guys worry it has two cameras on it as well one for portrait one for i think a standard photograph and then the front front screen looks like that you've got your front camera your microphone and then the bottom obviously has your speakers and then your charging jack. I'm with Air, that's my provider. I was entitled to this upgrade. <laughs> that's the only reason I got it. This phone to buy in Ireland currently is 939 euro. So I think before we do anything, should we boot it up? Will we, will we? Yeah, before we discuss it. I have to open it up. Make sure you hold on to this nifty thing because you won't be able to get into your phone otherwise. Oh, look at my Apple stickers. I always, always hang on to these. You never know when you might need them. So we'll just open her up. I'm always like never forceful enough with this I can never get it open there we go so I have my little tiny 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 sim in there with my new number I'm just gotta slide it back in there and then pop it in oh it's turning on it's turning on it's turning on oh my god I'm so excited it's turning on no it's not oh my god I watch sniper wolves 
<laughs> unboxing and the same thing happened to her her iPhone wouldn't turn on oh it's turning on oh my god I was like oh my god I'm having a sniper wolf moment okay it's unlocking it's unlocking woohoo so I'm going to click on Ireland and then it's selecting a language for me and then I get this page and it just says quick start if you have an iPhone iPad running on iOS 11, bring it nearby to sign in automatically. If you want, you can also set up the iPhone manually. So let's set her up manually. I'm gonna click into my Wi-Fi. I don't know my Wi-Fi password, so I'm gonna go get that and I'll be back in a mo. We are now connected to Wi-Fi. I also have my backup on my Mac. Now it says I need to touch ID. This is the same as the other one, so it takes like one, two, three. I can't really hold this up, hang on. <sighs> Four. Five, six, seven. Oh my god, it's taken ages. Okay, now I now I have my fingerprint in and you can do as many fingerprints as you want. I usually do both thumbs and both index fingers because they're the only fingers I really use to tap my phone. It now has my full fingerprint and then there's a six digit login code. Always when you open up your new phone, you can change it to four, which I will be doing soon and I'll also be changing, changing my pin. I hate the six digit login codes, they're just, it's so unnecessary, four is fine. But now I can restore my iCloud from backup or I can restore it from iTunes. I'm gonna restore it from my backup, so I'm just gonna log into my Apple ID. Okay, so I just logged into my iCloud. Now it sent a verification code to my old phone, which I have here. And it says, your Apple ID is being used to sign in on an iPhone near Dublin. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> I'm going to allow it and now it's given me a code on my old phone So we'll put that in here. So now it has the new code and it's logging into my iPhone, which is great So all my terms and conditions. Yes, I agree to everything. I'll agree. I'll sign my life away I'm actually kind of scared because the back of this is glass But this could be dangerous for me because I have let this phone fall once maybe twice and cracked the screen I'm just kind of wary that I don't crack the back of this, so I really gotta take care of it. Okay, so it's asking me to choose my last backup. I backed up my iPhone 6S Plus yesterday at 310, so that is the one that I'm going to go with. And now it's just backing up my phone, it's on the wrong time as well. Girl, get your life together. Okay, now this is a new feature of it. This is the true tone display. And this is when the iPhone automatically adapts to ambient lighting conditions and makes colors appear consistent in different environments. I'm going to just continue with that. I am up to date with iOS 11. 0.1.2 at this date. There's not really much else that I can tell you right at this stage. Like everything I presume is gonna be quite similar. The thing is obviously now you have the portrait camera, which I'm gonna take a couple of pictures of that and just to see what it's like. I'm never really like, oh my God, the camera is so cool. It's so great because I always thought that the camera on the iPhone 6S Plus was okay. Like it was fine. So anything above that is gonna be like a little bit more of an improvement. I'm delighted that I went with the iPhone 8 because I was waiting for the 10 to come out to see what everyone was thinking about, what, you know, what people's feelings were about it. And apparently the facial recognition is not working very well and there's an awful lot of errors and people have to return their phones. So that's just a nightmare for me. I don't wanna get into that. So I just pass on that one. I'm happy enough to get the 8 because that's what I wanted. That's the one that I had my eye on. So I've waited two years for this to come out and I'm just kind happy to get it. I had the best experience with the 6S Plus. Like it was just a, a dream. It was such a good phone. It never caused me any problems. It had massive memory on it. I've gotten I think more memory on this one. I can't actually remember. I'll write it down in the description what I got. I have unlimited calls, texts and data and I also have free social media. My social media is not social media is not going to cut into my allowance. I'm with Air. It's an Irish provider. They had the best deals at the time. Going to play around with this phone for a few more days, see what I think of it, and then do an upgraded video for you guys, an updated video rather. If you guys want to see what's on my iPhone, like what apps I have and everything, I can do that as well because I have kind of fun apps and like editing apps and stuff that you guys might want to see. I'll take a few pictures with the camera just so you can see the comparison of the old camera versus the new one. Right now, there's nothing to write home about. It's just an unboxing video. I haven't played around with it yet. We haven't gotten into the nitty gritty. I know the last time I did this, people were like, she knows nothing about the phone. She knows nothing. And I was like, I literally just opened it out of the box. So when I play with this phone and I get a good kind of feel for everything about 
about it, I will come back and update you guys. So no need to get your knickers in a twist. But everything is now restoring from the backup. It took about 20 minutes, it's 20 past two now. I started like backing up or restoring the backup at around two o'clock. All my apps are just downloading now. The camera and it is pretty cool. There's like new settings in the camera, the portrait setting obviously being one of the main things and having different lighting. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it slightly informative. Keep an eye out for like my two week update maybe because I say two weeks. I should know everything after like a day or two but I will do a two week update and I'll also do what's on my iPhone so keep an eye out for that guys if that's something you want to see. And if you have any more questions please leave them in this video. At least I'll know to kind of touch upon them the next time I am talking to you guys. I love you so much. Thanks for tuning in today and I will talk to you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys!